a lot's happened in the last three weeks since I've uploaded more stuff. And I kind of want to touch on a little bit on everything. If that's okay. This isn't like a gaming thing. It's more of a vlog. Or me complaining. One or the other. So a little over three weeks ago, I got terribly sick. And I had no idea what it was until after I had gone to an ADHD appointment. And came home and realized my voice wasn't affected, but my throat hurt. And it only hurt when I swallowed. So I took a closer look with one of those magnifying light thingies that you can stick in your mouth and my is for the first time in my life i had tonsillitis no idea where it came from so recording was difficult because everything hurt it's it's in in insane how much tonsil pain can hurt the rest of your body it's nuts so it took over a week to get over that recording was impossible while yes it didn't affect my voice i also was in too much pain to like vocalize and stay upright and not fall asleep from all the pain meds and stuff i was on and at the tail end of that as i was coming out of that and it was going away and that's all fine now at the tail end of that i'm coming out of that mess I got sick with some upper respiratory thing, which I do every year. It, it happens. I have asthma. I've had asthma for over 30 years. It sucks, but I live with it. So coming out of tonsillitis, going into upper respiratory infection, that affected my voice. So I couldn't, I, I couldn't talk to save my life. Voice issues aside and congestion and all that stuff aside, as soon as I'm better from that, the election hits. And I try really hard not to get political on Maine. It's not fair to you guys. It's not something that's relevant to my channel. Yeah, from what I've posted and the, the values and things that I have, the stuff that I've listed in my about section on this channel, you can probably tell what side of the spectrum I lean on and the results of this election hit me really really hard I'm not going to get into specifics about all the tinfoil hat conspiracy theories and all of the weird nuances about this particular election that I'm going to save that for other people if you want my unfettered political opinions you can go check out my tiktok i i post less gaming stuff there because it's more of my personal diary kind of thing whereas youtube is my gaming outlet and connecting with my audience thing either way the results of this election and what they mean to me my family people that i know how it's going to affect relationships with my family my extended family, my own parents. It's hitting me in a in a way where I'm feeling like I'm questioning a lot of everything, really, and how I need to deal with those kinds of relationships is hanging in the balance right now. I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. And anybody who comes into my channel who starts spouting political garbage or is a terrible person to other people in my community will be banned. I have no time to deal with the fallout of somebody being crappy in my comments. I will just ban you. Plain and simple. But if you're here because you're you you watch my gaming stuff or you enjoy my commentary or my video essays or my upcoming projects or any of that stuff, cool, have at. Uh, but I'm not going to sit here and spout political nonsense because you're not here for that. 
that aside, the election results hit me in a way that I never knew I could feel, and it sucks. And dealing with that is one of the hardest mental exercises and lowest lows mentally, mental health-wise, that I have ever felt in my entire life. So aside from being sick, sick, and depressed, while I'm, I was working on that and uh, while I'm navigating other stuff, my dad got hurt at work, had an industrial accident, he's hospitalized, uh, he's alive, at least he's alive, um, and is doing okay, uh, but it is, it's a life-changing injury. I had to make medical decisions for him while they had him sedated for pain issues. And one of the cool things is uh, while they were medicating him, while he was loopy, before he went fully loopy out, the first thing he thought of was handing the doctor his phone, bringing up my name and saying, call him. I'm honored that I'm the first person he thought of. He has so many local friends. He has so many other family members, like my uncles, his brothers, that could have been called, but me. <laughs> so we're working on getting me medical power of attorney to help him as we navigate this. But being confronted with the mortality of your own parents. And I've, I've lived through this a few times already, but being reminded of it again really sucks. And it's always around Thanksgiving time. My stepdad asked years ago when I first started my channel around Thanksgiving. And navigating that took me years. And now my bio dad gets hurt and I'm, I have to navigate that on top of election depression, on top of seasonal depression, on top of being sick, on top of worrying about the channel because I haven't made videos in forever. I don't even know how long it's been since I last posted. I haven't looked. But shifting away from the bad to the good. Let's go to the good, <laughs> what little good there is. Uh, what you're seeing through right now is a teleprompter that I built myself. Uh, I can slide my phone into it and it reflects the screen and I can see and read scripts while looking at you. It's great. I love it. I spent way too long making it, uh, but it's perfect. It, at least for my uses, it's, it's perfect. I'm not reading from a script right now. You could probably tell that because I'm looking everywhere else but you. <laughs> the two other projects I'm working on is I am working on completely rebuilding my website. Where previously I had a website where it would it acted like a, a Linux terminal and you would enter commands or tap on command links and it would do stuff. And while that was a cool little project, eh, it's sponsors, developers, uh, I mean, even you guys who are looking for information or want to know more about me, it's kind of useless. <laughs> it would be really cool to have that for like an ARG or something in the future. I'm going to hold on to the software that I built for that. Just to see if I can make it into an ARG later. But I'm building a new website and I will let you guys know when it's done. Um, You, get, you can spread it to potential uh, sponsors or partners or or game developers and we can you know get this channel really moving with a, a damn good website that looks like a media kit acts like a media kit but is like uniquely me i'm building it from scratch from the ground up not using any extra software or one of those website building sites or softwares or whatever i'm coding it myself like i usually do um, i also built my own teleprompter software because 
all of the teleprompter software I found was either garbage or expensive and use useful. So I just made my own. It's it was it it was a two day project. The code was super simple. It uses in browser speech recognition. It's great. No, I'm not going to re release it to the public. That's just a me thing. It's something I wanted to do for myself because it it's it was cheap. <laughs> I did it for free, and it works with my teleprompter setup that you guys are looking through right now. Uh, the final thing I have for you as far as new projects and cool stuff that I've been working on while not making videos is I have a collaboration coming up for a video essay, working with somebody who I've been watching and interacting with on TikTok for the better part of about four or five months. She's a really cool person. Uh, very knowledgeable in what the video essay is about. And so far it's shaping up to be freaking awesome. So that's all I have for you for now. I'm sorry. I haven't made videos. I'm working on it. I've, I've recorded like two or three They're uh, edited ones edited and uploaded. The other two are either edited or, one of them is just in raw form right now, but gaming videos are coming up. I'm working on, I have like six or seven different video essays that I have scripts for. Um, the one with the collaboration is, is a massive one. It's huge. Uh, it's like all said and done, probably a 15 to 20 minute video essay. So editing that's going to take a monster amount of time with my current editing skills. So that's all I have for you. Sorry, I haven't made videos again. I it's it's been a it's been weird. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoy my channel, if you want to see this channel succeed, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button. I'll see you guys next time.